Hi, I'm Ben, and here's my top 10 parts for the 2020 and up Toyota Supra. When modifying your new 2020 and up Toyota Supra, others will call it a BMW. With mod paths being so different for every customer, it just depends on what your ultimate goal is and what you want to do with the car. Bolt-ons for the Supra can actually gain quite a bit of power. So here's our top 10 for what we recommend and what we've seen people do and uh, have had good, good luck with. The first is the Pure 800 Turbo. Pure takes a stock Borg Warner Turbo from the Toyota Supra and they'll actually disassemble it and bore out the inside of it to put a larger inducer and turbine wheel to make more power. This is the Pure 800 Turbo, which is good for up to 800 horsepower, but most people are getting in the 6 to 650 range before they run out of fuel. When trying to make your Supra breathe with a bigger turbo, you have to take care of the other bottlenecks in the system, like the AMS Catalyst downpipe and Miltec catback exhaust with carbon fiber tips. You can get catted or catless downpipes for the Supra. Catted is street legal and will still flow. It'll keep the volume down just a little bit, uh, but still allow quite a gain in power. Catless is off-road use only, will give you the biggest power gain, but does have certain downsides like not being street legal, and you will get a little bit of smell from the exhaust. In this car, it actually uses water to air intercooler, whereas most other cars just use air to air. So essentially upgrading the intercooler is a lot more difficult. There aren't really any options out there. I'm sure there will be some coming soon, but right now the best option is to upgrade the heat exchanger, which cools that water, which in turn cools the air a little bit better. This is gonna be great for your Ontario muggy days or even track days, keeping those intake air temperatures down. Then comes tunes. Tunes are a tough one. No matter what I say, the internet's gonna get angry, but we ended up doing the Titan Motorsports tune using the EcuTech or ECU Tech. Again, internet's gonna get angry. We didn't have a chance to get this car on the dyno, but we were told it should be making in the high 500 horsepower. Paired with a meth kit, you should be in the low to mid 600s. Next up is the Titan Motorsports meth kit. Meth, again, comes in many different uh, options, but the Titan Motorsports one is super nice and super sleek. Fits right in the little shock tower cubby thing there, and unless you know what you're looking for, you wouldn't know it's there. Uh, very handy system and great power out of it, seeing as the car runs out of fuel around the high 500 horsepower. So to get over the 600, meth is definitely needed. For meth, we use boost juice from Snow Performance. 
Snow Performance Boost Juice is 49% methanol and 51% water. The water and methanol mixture shoots into your charge pipe to cool the air, but also the methanol acts as fuel. In turn, that helps add fuel to the car, allowing you to make more power. And with colder charge temperatures, again, makes more power. Next up, we'll talk about suspension. The suspension on the Supra is actually pretty good, but the people that want to lower it and to have that little bit extra performance, it's definitely a good option. You have everything from lowering springs, to coilovers, to airbags. Uh, coilovers are definitely the most popular. We carry KW, RSR, and BC Racing. All of them are great quality coilovers. They fit many different price ranges, so it just depends what way you want to go. Springs are going to be the least expensive option, and then airbags are going to be the most expensive option. For the air suspension option, Airlift has a nice kit for the car. You've probably seen it on almost every single Supra at SEMA back in 2019. Wheels are next, and a very hotly debated one at that. There are so many different options out there. It all comes down to personal taste. This is the T37 Ultra M-Spec. It's nice. Another favorite is the BBS LM. These are nice too. Next up is the AFE charge pipe in a beautiful wrinkled red finish. Made of metal, not plastic, so a lot less likely to fail. It also has an eighth inch MPT port for easy water meth install. Next up is the Takeda Intake by AFE. Proven to gain 12 horsepower, 24 torque. With the turbo, probably a lot more than that. Outflows the factory intake by 22% and has a very OEM plus look. So these are my top 10 mods for the new A90, A91 Toyota Supra. Obviously with such a new car, the aftermarket is growing like crazy for it. So down the road, there's obviously gonna be a lot more parts coming for it. And even now there's a lot of parts we didn't mention, but this is just what we like, what we recommend. And uh, it's a good starting point. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think.